boys and girls, how are you? Today I'm going to be reading you a book about a giant, a giant named Abiyoyo. This story comes from South Africa. It's a flock story. So let's hear it. Here we go. Abiyoyo. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who played the ukulele. Around time, he'd go click, click, clack, click, click, clack, click, click, clack. The grown-ups would say, take that thing out of here. Not only that, the boy's father got in trouble. The boy's father was a magician. He had a magic wand. He would go zoop, zoop, and make things disappear. But he played too many tricks on people. He'll come to someone about to drink a nice cold glass of something, and zoop, the glass would disappear. Oh, no. Someone doing hard job at work. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Up comes up the father with his magic wand and zoop. No saw. Hmm. He'll come up to someone about to sit down at the hard day of work and zoop. No chair. Oh, no. People said to the father, get out of here too. Take your magic wand and your tricks and you and your father just get. The boy and his father were ostracized. That means they were made to live at the edge of town. Oh, wow. Now, in the town, they used to tell stories. The old people used to tell stories about giants that lived in the old days. They used to tell stories about a giant called Abiyoyo. They say he was the tallest of tree and could eat people up. Of course, nobody believed the story, but they told it anyways. Wow. One day, one day, the sun rose bloody red over the hills. The first people got up and looked out the window. They saw a great big shadow in front of the sun. They could feel the whole ground shake. Boom, boom, boom. Woman screamed, ah, strong man fainted. Run for your life, I be yo is coming, they will say. Oh, wow. He comes to the cheap pasture. He will grab a whole sheep and gloop. He will gobble it up. He'll come to the cow pasture and grab a whole cow and gloop, gobble it up. Manuel, grab your most precious possession and run, run, run. Just then the boy's father woke up. Hey, Pa, what's that coming over the fields? Why, son, this is Abiyoyo. Oh, if only I could get him to lay down, I could make him disappear. Wow, now the boy and the dad have an idea. The boy says, Pa, come with me. He grabs his father by the one hand, and the father gets the magic wand, and the boy gets his ukulele, and they run across the field. Hmm. People yell, don't go near him, he'll eat your life, stop! There was Abiyoyo. Mm -hmm. He had long fingernails because he never cut them. He had sloppy teeth because he never brushed them. He had stinky feet because he never washed them. And he had matted hair because he never combed it. He raised up his claws. Just then the boy whipped out his ukulele. Abiyoyo, Abiyoyo. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the giant had never heard a song about himself before. A foolish grill spread over his face, and the giant started to dance. Ah, be yo yo, ah, be yo yo. The boy went faster. Ah, be yo yo, ah, be yo yo, ah, be yo yo, ah, be yo yo, ah, be yo yo. Well, even faster, here we go. Ah, be yo yo, ah, be yo yo, ah, be yo yo, ah, be yo yo, ah, be yo yo. The giant got out of breath. He staggered and he fell down flat on the ground. Oh, wow. Look at that. And up steps the father and zoop, zoop. What do you think happened? Zoop. He made him disappear. The people look out their window. He's gone. The bill just disappeared. Whoa. The people ran across the field.
wheels. They lift the boy and his father up off their shoulders. They say, come back to town. Bring your darn ukulele. We don't care anymore. And they all sang, Abiyoyo, 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 Abiyoyo. Again, Abiyoyo, 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 Abiyoyo. Bye, amigos.